That was graceful. That is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. I don't know what I got into today. <laughs> Took this job site unseen. The client was real cool about my uh, ballpark range. So looks like a new property. They've got somebody who's gonna come in with a real brush hog tractor to get all this stuff cleared out. They just want the house cleaned up around the house, you know, where the tractor can't get. I've got the brush hog and the mower. We're gonna try and clean up some of this garbage, get it away from the house and uh, We'll take a look around. So I definitely think first we're gonna run the brush hog over everything and then we'll use the finish mower at the end. I said about four passes of the finish mower is what we would do. That should give about 20 feet around the house where the uh, that tractor can operate without bumping into anything. Looks like we might have somebody dropping something off. Hey, how are you? Good, how much stuff? Good, thanks. This side of the house has a little bit more trash, but a lot less grass, which is nice. I imagine they're gonna come through and smooth all this out, super uneven. You know, I, I said 20 feet, I might just try and, I felt like I was on a hill, that might be the drain field or the septic. I might try and see if I can just knock all that down because you don't want a real heavy machine driving over your septic mound or your drain field so uh, i might try and do that it's a little something extra for them and for you since you'll probably like seeing the toro try and tackle that i already see a lot of this type of stuff around the house you know my little heart string trimmer is great for grass but it's not really going to manage that so i did bring some hand loppers i might just have to use those i think there's going to be a lot of cutting a section and moving junk into that section and then cutting that section and moving stuff into that section so it'll be one of those kind of jobs that's all right though i haven't done one of these in a while i'm kind of excited to this is this is how i got my start doing these kind of properties and i guess i got fat and lazy and haven't kind of done one of these things where it's you know 20 minutes to get to out in the middle of nowhere but I think you guys like seeing this stuff, so please let me know if this video is something you like.
All I can say is thank goodness for this Toro because my mower would take about a day and a half to be doing this stuff. Rake zero. This thing's pretty bad. <laughs> oh, right on the bed. Check that out. Zoom in on that.
All right, so I just caught one of the most fortunate breaks during the entire five years I've been filming videos. In this scene right here, you'll see that uh, the brush cutter actually ripped my pocket because of just, it was just a bad angle of everything and you know, a bunch of things happened that <laughs> it ripped my pocket. That's the pocket that I had my memory card with all of the first round footage, all the good footage. And so I'm, I'm finishing up. We're, we're almost done here, you can tell. And so I check my pockets for my GoPro, GoPro, GoPro battery and the SD card, and the SD card is not there. So I, I lost it somewhere bouncing around. I, so stupid. The only chance I will actually have of recovering it is if it got stuck somewhere in the Toro as it was bouncing around. And wouldn't you know it, <laughs> You see this right here? <laughs> My SD card made a little home right there. And it looks like it's, as I almost just drop it. And it looks like it's in good shape. No scratches or got cut or anything. How fortunate is that? <laughs> it out of all the places it could be on this huge property. The amount of hatred I would have felt for myself if I lost that SD card and all the footage, I, I would have just shut the channel down at that point. <laughs> all right, so we're done. Aside from the scare where I thought I lost the SD card, everything went pretty good. So I didn't film it, but after I brush hogged everything, I went through with the finish mower at three inches. Then I came back and string trimmed everything. Then I went back with the finish mower at two and a half inches. The client just purchased this property. It's a beautiful piece of property, but the previous owners left it in quite a state so he's going to have his work cut out for him you know there's trash everywhere and mattresses things like that we had only talked about you know maybe 20 feet out just so the tractor had plenty of room or whoever he gets to mow but i don't necessarily want him to put a tractor on this thing so i brushed hogged that as good as i could it's uh a lot of these stalks are laid over so you'll see like you know, my little mulcher didn't get all of it. I think for uh, something that isn't being charged for, I think he'll probably be happy with it, you know? Just as a, well, since I'm here, let me do it because I don't want to messing up your septic mound. If you don't know what a septic mound is, if you don't live in city limits, uh, your sewer comes right out of your house and into a septic tank. That tank, it just sits for a long time so bacteria can kind of work on it and decompose it and then as the level fills, the water will, you know, kind of drain out. That's why this is higher. But you don't want heavy machinery on it to either compact it or risk cracking the, uh, the septic tank in there. With all that being said, at the very least, I hope this video entertained you, even if it didn't teach you anything. Uh, but again, please let me know your thoughts on this. I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it again. <laughs> Bye.